New Zealand has achieved a groundbreaking milestone in military aviation by becoming the first nation to fully upgrade its entire fleet of eight NH-90 helicopters, setting a global benchmark for fleet sustainment operations. According to a Royal New Zealand Air Force article published on 28th of May 2025, the upgrades, encompassing advanced software and hardware enhancements, were completed in just four weeks at AF Base Ohakea. Originally planned as a three-year process in Europe, this rapid local execution underscores New Zealand's technical prowess and innovative approach to maintaining operational readiness. The project, supported by NH Industries and Airbus Australia Pacific, enhances the NH-90 fleet's capabilities, ensuring unrestricted operations in New Zealand's controlled civil airspace and bolstering its tactical effectiveness for diverse missions. The NH-90, developed by the NH Industries Consortium, comprising France, Germany, Italy, and the Netherlands, is a multi-role military helicopter designed to meet NATO operational standards. Available in Tactical Transport Helicopter for Land-Based Missions and NATO Frigate Helicopter for Maritime Operations, the NH-90 is a versatile platform. Its carbon fiber fuselage, sliding side doors, hydraulic rear ramp, and four-blade composite main rotor enable it to carry up to 20 troops, 12 stretchers, or 2,500 kilograms of cargo, including small armored vehicles. Equipped with advanced systems such as forward-looking infrared, weather radar, a digital map generator, a helmet-mounted sight display, and secure communication capabilities, the NH-90 is powered by either two Rolls-Royce Turbomeca RTM-322 or General Electric T-700 turboshaft engines. It boasts a cruising speed of 300 km per hour and a maximum range of 182 km. The naval variant can be armed with torpedoes, air-to-surface, or air-to-air missiles, while the land variant supports machine guns or a 20mm cannon, making it a formidable asset for troop transport, search and rescue, police operations, and special forces missions. The decision to conduct the upgrades locally at RNZAF Base Ohakea rather than shipping the helicopters to Europe was a strategic triumph. Initially, NH Industries technicians were slated to perform the work over several years, requiring each aircraft to be transported individually, which would have disrupted fleet availability. However, the high technical expertise of New Zealand's deeper maintenance teams earned NH Industries approval to execute the upgrades domestically. This approach minimized logistical challenges and ensured that no helicopters were grounded during the process. A pivotal factor in the project's success was the Ministry of Defense's acquisition of critical components from a retired NH-90 previously operated by the Australian Defense Force. This enabled simultaneous modification of all eight helicopters, a feat unmatched by other NH-90 operating nations with testing and qualification supported by Airbus Australia Pacific's NH-90 software test rig in Brisbane. The upgrade significantly enhanced the NH-90 fleet's operational capabilities and compliance. New software enables coalition forces to identify RNZF NH-90s as friendly aircraft through modern electronic identification systems, while the integration of Saturn, a secure inter-aircraft communication system, strengthens tactical operations in combat environments. The fleet now complies with New Zealand Civil Aviation Authority requirements for automatic dependent surveillance broadcast, eliminating a previous exemption that had allowed operations without this functionality. Enhanced navigation systems and encrypted radios further improve integration into controlled airspace, ensuring seamless coordination with civilian air traffic control. Additionally, the upgrades improve automated hover control, enabling the helicopters to maintain stable hover down to landing in low-visibility brownout conditions caused by rotor wash in dusty or snowy environments. The ability to hover at lower altitudes over water enhances safety for maritime operations, such as special forces insertions, making the NH-90 more versatile and reliable. Ministry of Defense Air Domain Director Pete Fitness emphasized that these upgrades enhance operational safety, 
and reflect the natural evolution of modernizing aircraft over a decade old. While other nations operating the NH-90 had enrolled in the upgrade program earlier, New Zealand's completion of the full implementation across its entire fleet marks a global first, positioning the country as a leader in digital systems integration for multi-role helicopters. The upgrades align with New Zealand's broader defense strategy, which includes a two billion New Zealand dollars investment to replace its aging SH-2GI Sea Sprite maritime helicopters, underscoring a commitment to modernizing aviation assets. This investment reflects a forward-looking approach to maintaining a robust defense capability, ensuring the RNZAF remains prepared for regional and global security challenges. The rapid upgrade process also highlights New Zealand's ability to leverage international partnerships effectively. By collaborating with NH Industries and Airbus Australia Pacific, the RNF ensured that the upgrades met stringent NATO standards while adapting to local operational needs. The use of a retired Australian NH-90 for parts not only accelerated the timeline, but also demonstrated resourcefulness in addressing supply chain challenges, a critical factor in modern defense logistics. Looking ahead, the Ministry of Defense plans to further enhance the NH-90's digital capabilities with additional software and hardware upgrades focused on performance-based navigation and advanced communications. These developments will improve the fleet's integration into civilian air traffic control systems while strengthening its tactical utility in complex military operations, acts such as disaster relief and peacekeeping missions. The upgraded NH-90 fleet is poised to play a pivotal role in New Zealand's defense and humanitarian efforts. Its enhanced capabilities enable it to support a wide range of missions, from delivering aid in remote Pacific islands to conducting counter-terrorism operations alongside coalition partners. The RNZF's ability to maintain full operational readiness during the upgrade process ensures that New Zealand can respond swiftly to emerging needs, both domestically and internationally. This project not only enhances the NH-90 fleet's effectiveness, but also sets a precedent for future military helicopter sustainment efforts worldwide. As squadron leader Austin Smith noted, we're the first country to do it, and it's happened incredibly quickly, highlighting New Zealand's pioneering role in military aviation modernization and its commitment to maintaining a cutting-edge defense force.